talent base of musicians and many concert goers here in the region. The opening of a mid-sized music venue in Cloverdale could be a welcome addition to the scene. So there's a need in the South Fraser market where there's a very large population for a venue of this size, which is not a pub, and it is not a stadium. We're working with Alternate Productions, who's going to do um, all the sound and technical production of the shows. There's not really much of a music scene. Like, as soon as you leave the city, it's really hard to find places to actually play. What we need is a new breeding ground for the next wave of original acts and touring acts to come out of. And there are a lot of talented musicians to, to see, um, but sadly, I don't think the infrastructure is there. Our first show. Yeah, we're June doing first. Steve Kozak and... Paul Pagat. At the Shannon Hall. Yep. Yeah. Nice. So it's like a 550 cap room, right? There's a lot of interest in it. It's just a matter of uh, getting, it, getting it going, keeping it going. That's the thing. I mean, there's so many great talents. Offers on the dirt road. Was built in roughly 1950, actually as a dance hall for live music. The first live shows at Shannon Hall takes place on June 1st and June 15th. I'm Leah Bolton with Joy TV News.